Right, back on the track bed of the Great Central Main Line. A bit out of breath, still a bit of a scramble from the golf course there. Right, episode three, part three, yeah. Three in and I'm already losing count. Squeeze you through here. The M1 there, you probably hear it. And that's a clue at what we're gonna see now. Barbed wire to the right of me, those to the left. I might have to shout a bit now. You already have seen the picture, so you've already known what I've come to uh, to look at. So apologies for the suspense in the intro. Struggling through, but this is the bridge. Uh, the Great Central Mainland Bridge over the M1 motorway. Uh, and Jim tells me this was the last bridge on the Great Central Railway to be built. Yeah. Obviously the M1 came not kind of been too long before the line shut. No. In no. the 60s. The M1, uh, the, this was shut in about, well it shut to freight in about 69 I think. 66 yeah. 69. So this was... Uh, this was the last one to put the M1 down, they had to put the over the bridge, over the, uh, over the M1. I really hope the noise of the motorway isn't too overpowering. It really dominates the surroundings. So we're heading north still. So episode one, we started at Lutterworth and we've worked our way up to this exact point, just where that blue line crosses the M1. And it got me thinking about whether or not it is the newest bridge on the Great Central Railway and where else the line crossed the M1. Other than near Mansfield, I don't believe the two intersect again. And looking at the dates, I suspect the M1 opened after that part of the GCR closed. There is the bridge over the M45, but that section of motorway opened slightly before our M1 near Leicester. So the M1 opened on this section in 1965, I believe. This was only four years before the axe was thrown in the direction of the Great Central. So very short, approximate four years that the bridge actually saw use. Wow, so it's, uh, yeah, every other bridge we see has been 1800s. There's still a bit of gravel left, but there's it's like where the sections of the bridge have joined. Let's just have a poke down here first. So that's the M1. Away there. Be careful we don't show ourselves too much. We don't want to be alerting people thinking we're up to no good and shutting the motor away. Something like that. And not a lot to show you up here really is there but it's worth coming to have a look. And you can see where the, the ballast and the track bed's been cleared. It's just been left with this, this base of blue brick, hasn't it, there? There's the end. There's another golf course further down. Right, so that's, that's uh, Leicester in that direction then. And obviously, people who are familiar with my channel, Sheffield in that direction. Some old posts there. It's like a post of a sign. Of course, the newest bridge on the Great Central Railway is now at Loughborough, where the reunification projects installed the A60 bridge late in 2022. We've got quite a bit of gravel down at this side. If anyone wondering if you can actually walk down the Great Central main line, 
that's your answer. And this is February, this is the friendly time for doing things like this. So dread to think what that's going to be like June, July time. So short and sweet, the Great Central Mainline Bridge over the M1 motorway. So right, next we're off to Whetstone Viaduct, so we'll see you on the next one.